All right, let's do it. Sounds good. I'm here with Sam from In Better We Trust. And I want you to tell us just a little bit about the space that we're in right now here. Why is better here? This space is called the San Diego Made Factory and it's been here probably four or five years. It's four local women that run their own businesses. Better itself is a law firm and that's a pretty unique uh, industry for B Corp. Why did you choose to become a B Corp and how is that kind of uh, aligned with your mission, your goals as an organization? By becoming part of the B Corp community, you get to meet other B Corps and right. you get to like partner with them and, and share and you know just grow your network of like-minded, aligned people. And so I like it for the community a lot, but also you know it does hold us to certain standards that I think are super important. Right. Because for us, like understanding who our clients serve and sort of like how communities benefit from their services is like kind of fun to think through because then we think about the clients that we help, the communities that they serve and sort of like by extension that we help them serve. And so part of that standard in the assessment is something that's cool for us to kind of like go through and figure I out. I want to ask about um, your hiring, your staffing, and kind of how being a B Corp has affected your employees and people you've been able to bring in. We definitely like part of our hiring, we always have an unpaid intern or two unpaid interns and we do that because we want to make sure that they're going to grow professionally and so we try to make sure that when we interview, we have diverse candidates. What challenges do you face as a B Corp and how would you say that affects um, your like day-to-day -day life as an organization? I think it's just like anytime we think about growing or expanding or if we want to start doing like a new service offering or something like that, you kind of have to run it through those values and, and you know some of the criteria of the certification. And where I actually see it to be the most difficult is for my clients when they want to do investment rounds and have right. people invest. People don't know about the B Corp enough, so they're really sort of hands off and like reluctant to invest. And so I see that being a challenge for my clients. A lot. Right. Lastly, I want to ask you about thinking about the movement as a whole outside of your organization. Where do you see the B Corp movement in San Diego specifically growing? How do you think that growth is going to continue over the next, you know, five, ten years? You know, the thing that is really cool and exciting that I've seen start to pop up, and especially here, is the B Local. Right. I think it is going to be something that in San Diego in particular, I always find that there's just more and more B Corps that I hear about and more and more people that are interested also in becoming a B Corp. The region helps us to have these businesses that pop up that are trying to do good. We're just gonna see more and more of that. Thank you so much for the time. Yeah, Appreciate it. Of course. Better and the San Diego Made Factory here. That's the spot. Amazing.